praise God from whom all blessings flow and let us exalt his name forevermore. Hello YouTube, how are you doing? I trust by the grace of God, everybody is doing great just as I am. Thanks so much for tuning in into Empowerment Culture Outreach. My name is Bishop Nana Akusia Sipola. I'm coming to you once again with a word of hope and healing. My word of hope and healing for you today, I've entitled it, Stay on board, don't jump ship. Stay on board, don't jump ship. In life, doesn't matter how beautiful life is going, there's always those times that we face a lot of uncertainties. Things happen. Sometimes the things that happen put us in so much fear. We want to flee. We want to get out of life. We want to get out of the situation. And sometimes we want even to take our lives. But I would like to bring your mind onto something today. That if you're somebody under the sound of my voice, and you feel like life is treating you so badly that you feel just not being alive. Death is the answer. I want you to pay attention to this podcast very, very carefully. That taking your life, it's never an option and never an answer. First of all, our lives, does not belong to us. We belong to our Creator, Lord God Almighty. So taking your life or taking anybody's life, it's not the route you want to take no matter what you're going through. No matter what you're going through, my dear listener, don't jump ship. Stay on board. Stay on board in prayer. Stay on board with faith believing. Stay on board trusting in God that he will cover you he will take care of you no matter what the situation is God has got you God has got your back Jesus is with you Apostle Paul says something that I always love the scripture Philippians 4 30 it says he said I can do all things through Christ who is my strength and same book of Philippians also says the Lord shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory my dear listener we serve a very powerful God a very rich God the creator of heaven and earth and everything in it everything that your eyes can see he created it and those that are created by us he gave us the power to create that thing or those things. The Lord God Almighty, our Father, who is our source, is also a very creative God. Just look at human beings, how he orchestrated, intricately created us and all the you know, plants and flowers. Look at the many shades of flowers there is. The colors of flowers, the amazing, beautiful colors of flowers. Plants, trees, other creatures, animals. Look at the wildlife. Look at everything that is containing in this world, created by God. That should tell you he is a creative God and he will make things happen where there seems to no, be no way he will make things happen there. The Bible says in Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19, he says, remember not the former things. Don't remember anything that is going on. The negative experiences, the, 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 the bad things that has happened, the things that are making you fearful, the things that are making you doubt life doubt goodness, doubt great things in life, doubt that there's any good left in this world. The Bible says in Isaiah 43, verse 18, it says, remember not those things, 
But behold, I'm doing a new thing. The Lord is doing a new thing in your life, my precious listener. Behold, pay attention, look forward to it, embrace it. You will see it when he does it. Don't let the, the problems of this world overtake you, overwhelm you, and make you want to jump ship. Don't jump ship. Keep hope alive. Remember, everything that you see in this world, including your problems, they are all temporary. They are passing away. The only thing that will be left in this world is the Word of God. The Word of God is what you should put your, your focus and your faith in. The Word of God, the promises of God, those are the things you should focus on and put your trust in. Put your faith in God. And he will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. Be anxious about nothing, but in all things, with thanksgiving, in prayer, in supplication, bring your request to the Lord. The Bible said, make known your request to the Lord. And the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, who created you, who created all the things you need and want, will give you the peace that surpasses all understanding through Jesus Christ. The peace of God will guard your heart and your mind. Don't jump ship. Stay on board. Stay on board in the goodness of life. Stay on board with life. Stay on board with the purpose of God for your life. Do you know God created you for a purpose? Whether you believe it or not, He created you for a purpose. Everything He created is created for a purpose. You, my dear listener, there is somebody out there waiting for you to fulfill God's purpose for your life so that their life will have meaning. Their life will have purpose. They will have a dream and a vision for their life. My dear listener, Stay on board. Don't jump ship. Listen, no matter what it is that is causing you to want to jump ship, to want to kill yourself, to want to give up in life, the things that have made you given up in life, given up on yourself, given up on anything you were created for, it doesn't matter what it is. God has got you. He is the supplier of all your needs according to his riches and glory, my dear listener. Listen, the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8, verse 28 to 30, that all things work together for good for those who love the Lord and for those who are called according to his purpose. My dear listener, you are called according to the purpose of God. Yes, he created you with a purpose. You are called. You are the call of God. You are a chosen one. You are a chosen generation. You are a royal priesthood. You are a Christ ambassador representing God on this planet Earth. Representing the kingdom of God. You are a kingdom citizen here on Earth as a representative of the creator of heaven and earth. You hold a very big office, my dear listener. See yourself as God sees you. Don't see yourself as the problem you're facing. That will pass away. You have the power of, of life and death is in your power, in the power of your tongue. You got the power to speak things, positive things, good things, the things you want to see happen in your life. You have the power of life and death in the power of your tongue. Speak those things that are not as though they were just as the Bible tells us to do. And the, you will eat the fruit thereof. Speak things into existence. Speak your greatness into existence. Declare a thing and it shall be established. My dear listener, listen, the word of God about you 
It's yes and amen. His promises to you are yes and amen. The word of God says you are created in the image of God. You are greater than you think you are. You are powerful than you think you are. You are fruitful than you think you are. My dear listener, never give up. Never ever give up. Because what you see today, it can be a stepping stone to your next higher dimension. This thing that you're facing, the scars, the pain, the shame, the fear, the doubt, they are all going to be badges on you as an army of Christ. You are the saved army of God. You are a soldier in the kingdom of God, in the army of God. You are here for your life as a time as this to be a, a salvation tool to bring others to Christ. Stay on board, my dear precious listener. Don't jump ship. There's greatness ahead of you. I hear people say the good old days, the good old days, the good old days, and there's the greater new days ahead of you. He is doing something new in your life. Tell God, do something new in my life. And God has promised in Isaiah 43, verse 18 to 19, that be remember not the former things. Behold, that he is doing a new thing in your life. And he said, you will see it when he does it. Remember not the former things, my dear listener. Behold, God is doing a new thing in your life. Listen, this thing that you're facing today, Tomorrow by this time, it will become an inspirational tool that you are given to somebody to empower them, to build them up, to edify them, to bring them to the glory of God. Your life will be a testimony. I know my life is a testimony. My life is a testimony. There are so many things that God has taken me out of. He brought me from the darkness into his marvelous light. He brought me from the pit of the devil and his co-host where they planted me so that I could die. They thought they buried me, but little did they know that I'm a tough seed for God. So when they buried me, that represented me being planted and I've germinated, and I've grown, and I'm bearing fruit, and the fruit that I'm bearing through the power of the Holy Spirit and the power of Jesus, people are eating that fruit, and the seed that comes of that fruit being me, and the tools that I use those attacks, the demonic attacks, the satanic attacks, the tools that grew from those attacks that became fruits, others are enjoying those fruits. And the seeds out of those fruits have been planted in people's life. And those seeds are also germinating and becoming plants that will bear fruit to the glory of God. So all the scars that I have encountered that I have, I wear them as a badge everywhere, all over, from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, because my life is a testimony. My life is, is an empowerment tool. My life has become the walking, talking Bible of the glory of God. That is speaking the word of God, sharing Christ and loving people. That's making Jesus' name be lifted up, Jesus be glorified, and Jesus be magnified. Listen to me, my dear listener. Your life 
will become an inspirational tool and transforming messages that will bring souls, draw souls unto the Lord. It will draw joy and peace out of your belly, shall flow rivers of living water because you'll be the testimony of God. You'll be testifying about the goodness of God in the land of the living, my dear listener. Listen, you will not die. You shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. My dear listener, people are counting on you. Your life is the light that illuminates the darkness in this world, that illuminates Christ's goodness to the people who are seeking, the people who are seeking for something better than the darkness, for the people who are seeking something good, who are seeking greatness, who are seeking marvelous and fabulous things. You, my dear listener, you are that light. You are the salt in the world. You and I are the salt of the world. We should bring taste into this better world. We should be the light that illuminates brightness into this dark world that we live in. We in, in encountering and experiencing perilous times. But we have Christ in the middle of this crisis. So we are not afraid. I am never afraid. I'm not afraid of any entity in this world because Christ is my anchor. He is the solid rock on which I stand. And I want him to be the solid rock on which you stand. My dear listener, God will use your pain and that shame the enemy is orchestrating to destroy you. He will use it to put you on a pedestal. He will launch your greatness for all your enemies to see. The Lord will set a table before you in the presence of your enemies. He will pour oil onto you and your cup will overflow and be a blessing to other people's life. My dear listener, divine help is coming your way. Divine health, it's your portion. Goodness and mercy and grace and love of God is your portion today. The Bible said, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. My dear listener, there's prosperity coming to you. And prosperity doesn't mean financial wealth or material wealth alone. But prosperity means goodness of health, soundness of mind, peaceful heart, and a joyful spirit, including financial blessings. That will be your portion because the Lord will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus and through Christ Jesus. So you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto you. That is the words of Jesus. That is the promise of God for your life. He said, when you seek him first, all other things, your needs and your wants, shall be added unto you. You have to have a relationship with the Lord God Almighty, your creator. Make Jesus your Lord and your personal Savior and call on, on him. He said in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, he said, come unto me, all you who are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He have a gentle spirit and his burden is very light. He can do everything for you, my dear listener. Stay on board. Don't jump ship. There's greatness ahead of you. There are so many things that God is gonna use you for and your life will be an amazing testimony, transforming and empowering 
for others' lives. God loves you so much. If you don't have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, I encourage you today to give your life to Jesus because Jesus is coming soon. Tell him to use you for his glory. Go to him, call on him, and tell him what you need. He will answer. Believe in your heart that he died for you, that he loves you, and confess with your mouth that he is Lord, Lord of your life, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. You are a chosen generation, my dear precious listener, a holy nation. You are the righteousness of God. You are a royal priesthood. Stand in that faith and trust in God and know that he will do all things for you. Call on Jesus today. He's waiting for you. God loves you so much. Once again, my name is Bishop Nanako Siesipola coming to you once again on the Empowerment Culture Outreach. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my channel and share the videos so others will be empowered by it as well. Don't jump ship. Stay on board. God loves you. Embrace the love of God for your life, my dear listener. Shalom. Peace.